Hello babes, welcome back to Moonspell Tarot. So today we are doing a 18 plus pick a card reading. Finding out was the sex good or is it going to be good for you the first time? This is really beneficial. I feel like for those of you who are maybe in a newer relationship and haven't, um, you know, had intercourse with your partner yet or, you know, you're looking today and you're trying to find somebody and you want to find out if it is going to be good the first time. So here is my 18 plus warning. If you are under that age, I have plenty of other readings that are appropriate for your age. I will post it somewhere on the screen so you could find them, okay? So we have three piles here in front of us, plenty of cards each, so we have a lot to go through to find out, you know, what is going on with you and, you know, your future sexual partner. So for pile number one, we have this beautiful Jasper. For pile number two, we have a jade, very pretty. And then for pile number three, we have this beautiful glittery gold stone. So you could go off your favorite crystal, the color of it. You can, um, you know, pick your favorite number. You could pause the video for a second and hover your hand over each pile to see which one makes your fingers tingle a little bit. It really just depends on what. Uh, makes you feel most comfortable. You could also pick multiple piles if you can't decide. Uh, these readings are meant for a very broad audience, so a lot of times multiple messages will come across for the same person and resonate as well. So if you, you know, can't choose, you can always pick two if you like. And there will also be timestamps down below in the description for you to go ahead and jump to your reading. So let's go ahead and take a nice, good, deep breath, and then I will see you down at your reading, so. Welcome back, pile number one. So this is if you chose this red jasper. So let's go ahead and see, you know, what the sex will be like for the first time with this partner. Will it be enjoyable? What is going on in this situation? Okay. So first we have King of Cups reversed. Interesting. Okay. So what I'm feeling, you know, if you already aren't seeing this person yet, it's like if you haven't met anybody and you're just kind of like, looking for someone or maybe even if you have started seeing somebody and you all have not um, had sex yet, I feel like this is somebody that maybe you wouldn't normally date. Um, you know, maybe they just have like different qualities than what you would normally go after. Um, and I feel like, you know, there's something kind of like charming about this person and that's why, you know, you chose them. They're just not the type of person that you would normally date. Um, you know, maybe like someone who's like of a different race than you that you maybe, you know, maybe thought was like a little bit taboo before or something like that. Or even somebody's just like outward appearance, their style or something like that. I feel like it's somebody that, you know, maybe you wouldn't have dated somebody who is like, you know, like heavier than you or smaller than you or, you know, whatever. I do feel like this person is a lot different than you would normally date, but I feel like that's what you find like really sexually attractive about this person and it kind of uh, makes it almost a little bit like naughty for you because um, you know it's like a very like different experience right so I feel like also that's kind of why you're a little bit curious as to if like the sex will be good for you uh, because you know I do feel like that this person is a lot different than what you've normally experienced and so 
you kind of really, I'm feeling like you don't really know what to expect, but I definitely feel like this person is not, uh, you know, not the same kind of person you normally go after. I feel like you kind of cast your net a little bit wider this time, which is really great. You know, we all, you know, need different experiences sometimes. So I definitely do feel like, you know, this person is a little bit different than who you'd normally see or would normally be interested in having sex with. We also have death reversed. Awesome. Okay, so, you know, I feel like this person is going to go out of their way to make you feel really good. I feel like that they are going to, uh, you know, go out of their way to, um, you know, make the situation, make this like sexual experience the best they can. So, you know, I feel like they are going to like really get you like hot and worked up like during foreplay. They're going to, you know, make you feel really good. I feel like they're going to like ask you probably things you like. Um, I feel like they're also going to be very like vocal about what they like. So if you're like giving them oral or, um, you know, whatever that person may like, I feel like they're going to definitely let you know that that's what they like. Right. And, um, you know, if they are like going down on you, um, eating you out, something like that, I feel like that they are going to be looking for like visual and like physical cues, whether or not you enjoy it. So I feel like that they're going to, um, listen to hear you like moan or feel you like kind of tense up, things like that. I definitely feel like this person is going to, um, let you know that they enjoy, you know, whatever you're doing to them, but they also want to know that you're enjoying yourself. So I definitely feel like this person is going out of their way to make sure that you feel good. So I feel like overall the experience, they want it to be like very positive for you and they just want you to feel good and be happy. We also have strength reversed. Okay. Interesting. So I'm feeling like you know, the first time with this person, especially like, you know, if you've been seeing them for a minute and, you know, it's like you guys are interested in each other besides sex, I feel like it might be a little bit awkward because, you know, sometimes when you have sex the first time, um, you know, you're just learning about each other's body. So it can be really enjoyable, but it might not necessarily feel like the best sex you've ever had. Um, just because if you've been with somebody who's been like really experienced, so maybe, um, you know, I feel like the first time is going to be enjoyable, especially because like we spoke with the death reverse, I do feel like this person is going to go out of their way to make sure that you're feeling good. But I do feel like, um, you know, the first time might not be the absolute best time you all have sex together. I feel like it will get better over time, especially if this is going to be like a romantic relationship and you two are, I'm going to continually see each other, but I do feel like potentially that this might be, um, you know, the first time might not necessarily be the strongest time, uh, because I do feel like in a way this person may be like a little bit overly cautious, uh, just because they want to make you feel good and they want you to enjoy yourself. And so they might be like overthinking it a little bit, but again, I do feel like the connection is there. I do feel that you do have some sort of connection. So it's not necessarily like a bad thing that you two are, you know, maybe like this first time you two are learning about each other. So it might not be the most like intense, powerful, uh, climax, but I do feel like that you two are going to still enjoy it and have fun. And I do still feel like you both are going to like come and, you know, just like really enjoy this time, especially because you're taking the time to like learn each other's bodies. And I feel like that's a really, you know, positive thing to do instead of somebody just like going out of their way to make sure that it's all good for them. Right. We also have eight of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like this person has a very, um, like strong sexual appetite. I feel like they really, like if you two especially are going to continue to see each other in a romantic way or even if it's just like a hookup thing which is totally fine I feel like this person has a very strong sexual appetite and they are going to be hitting you up very often because even though like I said I don't feel like the first time is going to be the most intense strong 
you know, um, sexual experience ever. I do feel like it's going to be um, mostly about, like, learning each other's bodies, learning about, like, what each of you enjoy. But I do feel like this person is definitely going to be coming back for more all the time. I feel like that they really um, enjoyed your body. I feel like they really liked the taste of you. They enjoyed making you come. That was, like, something that really made them feel good. And, um, you know, I feel like this person is very, like, turned on by your body. I feel like that they really, like, loved your legs, they really enjoyed looking at your breasts, um, they really liked your body, and so I think that they're definitely going to be, um, you know, trying to hit you up more often, I, you know, especially in a romantic relationship where maybe you two are seeing each other, I feel like this person is going to be all over you, they're going to, you know, every time you guys are together, I feel like they're going to be wanting to have sex, because they're really you know, turned on by your body, and so they, um, you know, will probably give you the hint a lot and kind of, like, pounce on you <laughs> uh, often, because I feel like they're just going to be really, like, turned on by your body, right? And we also have the wheel. Okay, very interesting. So, I do feel like, even though, like, I spoke about, you know, with a strength reverse, that this first time might not be you know, the most intense sexual experience you've ever had, which is okay. Uh, if, especially because I do kind of get the vibe that this is going to be like a longer lasting relationship. I don't feel that this is just like a hookup moment. Um, I feel like for many of you, this is going to be something that is going to last. And so I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of good fortune and bring you a lot of really great sex in the future. So it's going to bring you a good relationship and also really great sex, right? So I do feel like this person, um, you know, because they took this time to learn your body and find out what you like and make sure that you're feeling good. And I feel like you're doing that in return. You know, you're going out of your way to make sure that, you know, they're feeling really great and turned on and just, you know, enjoying themselves. And so I do feel like that in turn, this is going to give you all like a really great sexual relationship. So, you know, if you guys continue to hook up and continue to have sex more often, I do feel like that you two are going to know exactly what, uh, you know, each other likes, you know, you're not going to be just kind of, um, you know, in it for, just making yourself come, right? I do feel like that this person is going to learn your body and so every time is going to be enjoyable, right? So, you know, even though this first time I feel like might not be the strongest, most intense sexual experience you've ever had, I still feel like it's going to be very enjoyable, very fun. But again, I do feel like it's going to bring better sex in the future, which is really important, right? And we also have hold your vision, Okay, so I do feel like also, you know, just make sure that you are keeping in mind because I feel like if you're just starting to date this person or you met them recently and you started, um, you know, you want to hook up with this person, I do feel like, you know, it may be a little bit of a letdown in a way if like the sex the first time isn't like really over the top and like, you know, really intense or like wild I do feel like it's kind of more in a way like experimental like they're just wanting to really like learn about your body um which is okay so make sure that you're holding on to what you really want out of this relationship if you are wanting a positive relationship a positive um love relationship I feel like you know, make sure that you're holding on to that and don't feel disappointed because I do feel like that it's going to bring more, um, more and like more, like better and more positive sex in the future. I just feel like, you know, don't be disappointed if, you know, it's maybe not exactly what you think it's going to be right off the bat because I do feel like you're very like curious about this person because, you know, you've never like dated anyone like them. They're a little bit different than the normal person you would go after. So I definitely do feel like, you know, you may feel a little bit, um, maybe like slightly let down just because maybe you're with, um, you've always been with like a certain type of person that's always, um, 
been really like wild in bed you know maybe they're very rough or something like that and maybe this person wasn't very rough with you um or vice versa you know maybe this person was more rough with you and you're not used to that but i do feel like you know it's important to hold on to this vision that you have because i do feel like you see something else in this person besides just like a sexual relationship and we also have pisces i believe so i feel like this person they definitely have some water in their chart. If they're not necessarily like a Pisces um, or like Scorpio or Cancer or any of the water signs um, in their like sun or moon, I do feel like it's probably in their ascending or they have like really heavy water in their chart, especially Pisces. You know, Pisces people are really into... Um, finding out exactly what you like in sex. They want to make the experience really great for you. They go out of their way to make sure you feel good. And so I do feel like I said in the future, I feel like that's really going to pay off. You know, this person is going to go out of their way to make sure that it's always enjoyable for you, whether that means like, you know, maybe making sure that they get like a certain like lubricant you like or a certain toy you like or something like that. I do feel like this person is definitely going to go out of their way to make sure that it's always like a really positive experience for you and that you're always feeling at the top of your game, always feeling really good. And so I do feel like this person is going to have um, at least very heavy water in their chart, if not a sun or moon Pisces. Okay. And we also have party, celebrate yourself. So I do feel like, you know, you and this person are going to have a lot of fun. Um, you know, again, this first time I think is all about experimenting. And so, you know, you both are just like learning each other's bodies. So don't be afraid to do that. Celebrate that this is like the first time that you two are hooking up, that it's going to be really enjoyable and fun and don't um, you don't worry about it or be stressed about it because I do feel like it's going to be a really beautiful, positive experience. So, you know, don't feel stressed if it's, you know, a little bit different than what you thought maybe it would be. So make sure that you're just like celebrating the experience, really enjoying yourself and kind of allowing yourself to be more relax and that's also like could tie in with the Pisces card that could also be like a reminder for you to you know be very relaxed about the situation it's okay you could kind of go with the flow it doesn't necessarily have to be a certain type of way the first time I feel like especially if this is like a new romantic relationship for you you know it is really important to learn each other's bodies so you can have the best sex throughout your relationship right and lastly, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so, you know, I feel like maybe you're struggling a little bit with, you know, maybe some financial issues and, you know, maybe like that's why like you could be having additional stress and, um, you know, that could also be pulled into the strength reverse that we talked about. You know, um, maybe you just feel like overly stressed in your life. And so I do feel like because you have a few cards reminding you that it is okay if the sex is, you know, maybe a little bit uh, different than what you expected the first time because I feel like you're going through a lot of stress. And so that's like adding on to your love life and that makes you feel like kind of worried um, on top of just like smaller things that happen. And so, you know, I just feel like it's important to remember that, you know, you two are going to have a lot of fun and um, enjoy each other's time, enjoy each other's company, and really just, like, have great sex. So, you know, if you are having, like, current financial struggles or maybe, like, um, you know, struggling in your career or something like that, don't let that add on to what is going on in this personal relationship because I do feel like very strong vibes that this person is very into you you know they want to make you feel as best as they can and I feel like that vice versa you want to make them feel really good so you know don't let that stress you out because I don't you know I would hate for that to you know potentially like ruin this relationship because I do feel like you guys have something really beautiful at the start right so thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Welcome back pile number two. So this is if you chose this jade stone. 
So let's go ahead and see, is the sex going to be enjoyable? Is it going to be the, you know, enjoyable the first time you all, you know, have sex together? Okay. So first we have nine of wands reversed. Interesting. Okay. So I feel like right off the bat that you two are feeling maybe like a little bit shy, you know, maybe feeling a little bit awkward and just a little bit weird the first time, because I think that, you know, the connection is you know, strong. I feel like you two really do care about each other and love each other, especially because you chose the Jade Crystal, which does, um, you know, represent love and represents like a really strong bond. So, you know, I do feel like that you and this person do really like each other and already have like an affection for each other. And so I feel like that you both want the sex to be enjoyable. So, you know, in a way, I feel like maybe you're like slightly putting it off uh, because you don't want to like disappoint that other person or you don't want that other person to like not be attracted to you. But I do feel like this person finds you very like sexy and attractive. So, you know, I do feel like definitely, you know, a little bit of like weird, awkward feelings are going around at first just because you two, you know, kind of like don't want to mess it up basically, right? Okay, so we also have eight of cups reversed. Interesting. Okay. So I feel like, you know, on top of feeling maybe like a little bit weird, a little bit, um, shy, I do feel like the first time is going to be, I feel like more like slow and sensual because I feel like that you two are like learning each other's bodies, trying to like figure out what each other really likes. So I feel like the foreplay is going to be uh, you know, very fun and enjoyable. I feel like you two are going to spend a lot of time, um, especially that first time, like, kissing, um, like, kind of, like, rubbing on each other's bodies. I feel like they might, um, you know, like, want to suck on your nipples, maybe, like, go down on you first, and maybe you go down on them also. You know, I definitely feel like this person, um, you know, is very, like, interested in making you feel good, and they want to get you kind of, like, worked up first, so I definitely feel a lot of, like, sensual foreplay first, and a lot of just, like, really sensual feelings, and, um, it doesn't feel rushed, you know, so I feel like that you two are going to have a very sexy first time, very just, like, sensual and romantic, and I feel like definitely you can feel, um, the affection that you two have for each other this first time, you know, because it's not just like a, you know, like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of moment. It's very like, um, romantic and slow and, um, you know, just like all about learning each other's bodies. Right. And we also have the lovers. Okay. So that's a very good sign as well. So, you know, I feel like this first time is just all about, learning about each other, trying to figure out exactly what both of you like, trying to figure out, you know, what you both, um, you know, what both, like, will make both of you, like, come very hard, you know, I feel like if this person is uh, going to, like, eat you out, they're going to want to, like, feel around and know exactly, like, what makes you feel good, um, I feel like this person is going to want to try, like, a few different positions with you, and find out, like, what feels best for you, and, you know, I feel like that's something you're going to also, like, explore more in the future with each other, uh, because you're both taking this time, and this first, um, you know, this first sexual experience between you two, and figuring out exactly, like, what makes you both feel good, so, you know, I do feel like this is a very positive, uh, you know, first time for both of you, even though it might be a little bit slower, a little bit more sensual, um, which is still very enjoyable. You know, I don't feel like it's going to be necessarily like very rough or anything like that, but I do feel like you two are going to go out of your way to make each other feel good and make each other come. And, you know, because you did pull the lovers, I do feel like this is a romantic relationship or, you know, a relationship where you at least both have a lot of affection for each other. I feel um, a lot of love coming off these cards, a lot of, you know, just like gen genuine like affection for this other person. And so I feel like that's why maybe you're very like concerned with how the sex is because you do care about this person and you do want it to be enjoyable, right? And we also have four of pentacles reversed, okay? So 
I'm feeling like this person is after, you know, you both have sex. I do feel like that you and this person are going to be very like affectionate for each other and, um, you know, probably like a lot of cuddling, a lot of like, um, spooning and just enjoying each other's company. I feel like that you are going to, um, go, you know, you're definitely going to let each other know that you enjoyed it. Um, and even, you know, while you're having sex, I feel like that you both are going to like moan and just like let each other know that you're enjoying it. You're feeling really good. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of, um, verbal cues as like to how you're feeling before and after, which is going to, you know, make each other feel really good and make each other feel really positive about the experience. So, you know, it won't feel um, like neither one of you are going to walk away and like wonder if you enjoyed it. I feel like you're both going to see right off the bat that you both really enjoyed each other's time. And that's going to, I feel like, boost this level of confidence that, you know, is kind of like not there in the beginning because I am really getting a strong vibe that you two are just very like nervous about having sex for the first time because you don't want to like ruin the situation. You both want to continue to enjoy each other's time. Okay. And we also have the hanged man. Okay. So again, I do feel like right now you're, you just really have that feeling of, you know, not knowing exactly where to go from here. You know, you're both um, feeling a little bit anxious about having sex for the first time. And I do feel like because you know, again, you did pull the lover's card. I do feel like it's just because you both have a very um, strong affection for each other and, you know, really do care about each other. But, you know, I do feel like that it's going to, I feel like it's going to escalate and even get better once you two have sex because I do feel like it's going to, uh, you know, be very intense and be very, um, just feel very good for like both of you, right? So, you know, don't feel like worried if, you know, maybe like it's put off for a little bit, you know, maybe like uh, this person maybe says they're not ready right away or something like that. And I feel like that's just because they're nervous or maybe you're both kind of young and just feel a little bit worried about it. So, you know, I just, I feel like right now you're kind of feeling like a hanged man. You're kind of like, in a limbo of like not really knowing what to do or where to um, go from like the way you're feeling. But I definitely feel like the sex is going to be really enjoyable and it's going to lead to, you know, even better sex down the line and also a really positive relationship down the line. So, you know, don't feel anxious. Um, I feel like it's all going to be really enjoyable and great. And don't, you know, make each other feel necessarily rushed um, if you're not ready right at this moment, right? And then we also have you and your loved ones are safe. So again, I do feel like this is just definitely another reminder that it's all going to be okay. It's all going to be safe. You know, you two are going to enjoy this. Don't let those like uh, nervous jitters stop you both from enjoying, you know, your time together, enjoying this sexual experience because I do feel like it's going to be really fun for both of you. So I do feel like this is a really good reminder um, you know, that it's okay to, you know, put it off a little bit if you're anxious and, um, you know, also like give your partner a chance to be fully ready because I feel like maybe, um, you know, they just feel a little bit worried about it. And we also have Cancer, I feel. So two Cancer cards in a row, very interesting. So, you know, this person could have very heavy like water in their chart or maybe even you can. That's why you're feeling very nervous. Um, so... I feel like that you, you both very feel this like affection very deeply. You feel um, both that you really care about each other very deeply. It's a very intense feeling that you both are having. I feel like especially you, because um, I do feel like from a few cards that you're feeling very like nervous about the situation, um, but that's okay. You know, I, you know, it's, it's something that's like within a cancer. I feel like that you feel very anxious. You have the... Um, it's just like in your nature to have a little bit more anxious feeling, feeling a little bit more worried about situations, especially regarding love and sex and things like that. So, you know, I do feel like it's okay that you're feeling anxious, but don't let these overly anxious feelings take over 
um, this relationship because I do feel like it's going to be very enjoyable for the first time. You both are really going to, you know, like come very hard and just feel very good, you know, so just remember that it is definitely going to be okay, right? We also have guide, follow in the footprints of greatness. So if you're not very like experienced in sex, you know, maybe you haven't had very many sexual experiences or um, you just feel kind of nervous in general, it's okay to find like resources to help you and, you know, like maybe give you like pointers or tips or maybe even... Um, just like talking to your friends if you feel a little bit anxious about having sex for the first time and maybe how to like go about it because you both feel like this um, like anxious energy between both of you and you could both even be water signs where you're both kind of struggling with some anxious feelings. Um, so I definitely feel like it's okay to seek out help and seek out you know just like talking with your friends just kind of um help get you amped up a little bit uh you know to kind of like just to kind of like uh, how can i say like step out of your comfort zone so i definitely feel like you need some help um from like a friend maybe like youtube videos um things like tarot reading stuff like that can really help you and make you feel like it's okay to kind of step out of your comfort zone a little bit because especially with cancers you have like a very strong comfort zone and it's very hard for you to step away from it and so i feel like that you definitely um can struggle with you know, stepping out of that comfort zone if you're not ready. Um, so, you know, I feel like it's okay to ask for help. Ask, um, you know, from people that you trust, people that, you know, really genuinely care about you and they can help you and give you really positive advice to move forward the sexual relationship so you can really, like, enjoy yourself with your partner. And then worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so I feel like this card is just like a direct message from your spirit guides, from your guardian angels, um, telling you that this situation is worth waiting for. This situation is, um, is going to be worth the wait. It's going to be very enjoyable. So it's okay if you feel anxious about having sex for a while. Um, you know, there's nothing to worry about because I do feel like that. Um, you know, it's going to be a really great experience for you. And so, you know, don't feel anxious if you feel like you're putting it off too long, or maybe you and this person are a little bit anxious. And so you haven't really like, neither one of you have like gone for it. I feel like when it happens, it's going to be like the perfect, you know, divine timing, and it's going to be really enjoyable for both of you. So don't feel stressed. If you feel like, you know, maybe you and this person are waiting too long or something like that. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, uh, please give me a thumbs up down below and also subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel. So thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. Welcome back pile number three. So this is if you chose the gold stone. So let's go ahead and see um, what the sex will be like with you and your future partner. Um, will it be good? Will it be enjoyable for both of you? Okay, so... First of all, we have Nine of Pentacles reversed. So I'm feeling like the first time, just like right off the bat, I'm feeling like the sex for the first time will be a little bit more laid back. So, you know, it's, you know, I don't feel like necessarily um, it's going to be like a crazy wild night or anything like that. I do feel like it's going to be more laid back. Um, you know, maybe you two aren't like formally dating or something like that. And so, you know, you could be just like hanging out and things get hot and heavy. Um, but I do feel like you two are going to still enjoy yourselves. I just do feel like it's going to be a little bit more casual. Um, it's not something that was necessarily like planned or like on your mind um, to do so beforehand. I feel like it just kind of, you know, happens between you two. But I do feel like you and this person, uh, you your like uh relationship is more casual as well um i don't necessarily see you all like necessarily like dating or you know being in like a romantic relationship i do feel like it's a little more casual it could lead to something else if that is what you want but if you're wanting a more um like hookup situation or like a friends with benefits type thing i do feel like right now at least the um it's go the uh, relationship is going to be a little bit more uh, casual, right? 
and we also have a five of cups reversed. Okay, so I, you know, I do feel like this person is, you know, maybe the first time that you all have sex, I feel like that they are not necessarily like going out of their way to make sure that it's like the best situation for you as well. I feel like in a way that they are kind of all about, um, like themselves in a way. So, you know, I guess it just depends on the type of partner you're looking for, if this is enjoyable to you or not. Um, but I do feel like this person is, you know, really all about like making themselves come. I feel like that they may not go out of their way to do, sorry, there's a garbage truck outside my house. If you heard that, um, I feel like this person is not going to you know, like necessarily like, um, go out of their way to eat you out. It might be like something that you like have to directly tell them that you want, you know, I don't feel like this person is, uh, necessarily like out to make the situation about both of you. I feel like in uh, this situation, they may be a little bit more one-sided about them just making themselves come. We also have the emperor reversed. So I do feel like in this situation, uh, you know, this, I feel like that you are, you know, you might like enjoy yourself this first time. I don't necessarily think it's all going to be bad. Like, I don't feel like this person is abusive in any way, but I do feel like that they are all about them in a way they are a little bit selfish in this relationship. And so I do feel like that this person, it's, it's kind of like all about them and, you know, maybe like after this relationship, after this first time sexual experience, you might not look at this person in the same way as you did um, when you first met them or if you were like talking uh, before you hooked up. I don't feel like you're going to necessarily look at this person in the same uh, fashion because, um, you know, you really, I feel like were turned on by them in the beginning, but, you know, now that you see that they don't really like go out of their way to like eat you out or um, do any like foreplay or anything with you that it's kind of just like all about them. I feel like that that might be a little bit of a letdown for you. And so, you know, just make sure that it's, you know, that if you don't feel comfortable in the situation and they're not doing anything for you and you don't like that, um, you know, make sure that you are not continually like putting yourself in a situation to not feel good. Right. So, you know, if you are having sex, unless it's like a certain type of you know, agreement, um, a certain, you know, I know some people who are in other like sexual communities do like certain things. So obviously if it's within that, it's okay. But you know, if you are like having sex with somebody and it is, um, you know, like they're completely ignoring you, not making you feel good in any way, you know, it is okay to walk away if you're not enjoying yourself. Right. Um, and we also have Knight of cups. So I do feel like in a way this person might feel a little bit frustrated that you um, kind of walk away from the situation. They might feel a little bit frustrated um, that you don't want to hook up with them anymore because I feel like they enjoyed it. So why aren't you enjoying it? Um, and also I think that this can be a sign of you being frustrated as well because I think that you were like horny for this person. I think that you really were interested sexually in this person. And so it's a little bit frustrating to you that they are being selfish in this manner. And so, you know, I do feel like, um, I do feel a lot of, um, frustration from you. Right. And so, um, you know, I think that altogether, this is like a very frustrating situation for you. And, I think that they're going to be frustrated as well, even though I don't feel like they have a right to be frustrated. Um, but you know, I do feel like it's kind of like a hard situation for you because you want to enjoy yourself with somebody and you want to have fun. And this person is being a little bit selfish. So I do feel a lot of frustration for you, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I do feel like slightly frustrated for you. And we also have a four of wands reversed. Okay, so I feel like this person is um, not shy about letting you know how they feel, you know, if they're frustrated with you because after you all have sex, if you, you know, maybe don't like answer their text back, if you are, um, if you are not, um, you know, being very like forthcoming with wanting to, you know, like hook up with this person again, if you are, 
uh, kind of just like avoiding them, which is completely understandable if they're not really going out of their way to make you feel good. I feel like in a way that that might frustrate this person and um, they're, you know, not afraid to let you know about it. You know, they're going to definitely like tell you their um, frustration of you not answering them back or um, their frustration that you you know, maybe don't want to hook up with them anymore. So, you know, I do feel like overall this situation is not necessarily the best for you. I do feel like it's important for you to move on and find something better because I do feel like this person is a little bit selfish and not, um, and not like really forthcoming about wanting you to feel good, not going out of their way to make you feel good. Um, they just kind of like expect that from you. So they are very like selfish in this way. And then we also have nothing will come of this situation. Okay, so, you know, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like this is a very frustrating reading. Um, you know, I feel like this person is very selfish. Um, and maybe you've already hooked up with this person and you see that, you know, that they're just always going to be this way. So I really do feel like nothing positive is really going to come from this situation. So... I would just completely step away from this person. Um, if they're not going out of the way to make you feel good, it's not benefiting you in any way. Um, they're not making sure you orgasm and maybe you're not coming at all. So maybe like you have to like take care of yourself, um, you know, when this person is done. So, you know, I do f definitely feel like this person is, you know, not making you feel good. They're not doing anything um, necessarily special for you. So it is okay to walk away if you are not like happy in this situation. And so uh, we also have Libra I balance. So if you are, you know, maybe like a Libra or you have heavy, uh, heavy like Libra in your chart, I do feel like that you, um, you know, you seek a balance and you seek like an equal relationship, whether that comes to sex or romance, um, I feel, or even just like friendships. I feel like that you, you crave that balance. Like you have no problem doing nice things for other people. That's something that you just, you know, that's what you do. You're just that type of person. And you expect that back because you give out that energy. So you expect that same energy back. And so that's why I feel like um, with uh, Knight of Cups, I feel like that you definitely have that frustration in this person because they are not, you know, willing to willing to like return that favor back they're not willing to make you feel good back so you know i do feel like that you have a very um a very frustrated emotion with this person because you you know you do so much for other people and you always go out of your way to make your partners feel really good so it's very frustrating for you when this person um you know doesn't want to give back and we also have email, be mindful of the messages you send. Okay, so this is really important because, you know, as we do see with uh, Four of Wands and also Knight of Chalices, that I feel like this person doesn't have a problem with, like, you know, letting you know how they feel, like if they're going to be frustrated with you uh, because, you know, you're not answering them back. So, I feel like it's really important to not give this person hope and don't give this person like any um, positive feedback. Don't give this person any uh, like stretch the imagination that you had fun. I feel like it's important um, that if you do choose to speak back to this person and let them know that you didn't enjoy yourself, I feel like that's really important and don't make them think that, um, it was like anything that was your fault because I do feel like they're being very selfish and I do feel like it's important to let them know that. And, um, and also like, you know, don't say, well, maybe we could hook up again. You know, I'm just busy right now. Like, I don't feel like that's a great idea because I feel like this person is going to keep, you know, trying to hit you up and trying to, um, have sex again. So I do feel like it's so important that you are mindful about, how you interact with this person after this. Um, you know, don't say, like, you enjoyed yourself if you didn't. Like, obviously be safe and don't, like, uh, you know, like, you know, we hear a lot of things about people being unsafe. And especially if you're hooking up with this person and you met them online and you don't really know them, you know, just obviously be very safe with the situation. But, you know, I think it's important the way you interact with this person afterwards so they don't continually try to hook up with you if that's not what you want, right? 
And lastly, we have free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. So this is also very important because, you know, if you are even like currently seeing this person and maybe you've had sex with this person multiple times, I do feel like it's important to kind of like free yourself of this person. Um, and if you do just have sex the one time or, um, you know, hook up with this person once, I do feel like it's important to free yourself of this person because they are just kind of like draining. You know, I feel like that they're not really going to add any sort of benefit to your life. They're not going to make sure that you feel good. They don't really care if uh, you come. They are just all about themselves. And I feel like they're kind of selfish, frankly. So make sure that you are just um, keeping control of your life and not allowing people to manipulate you um, in sex. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up down below and also subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a great day.